Hey guys, it's Key and it's Key Life Trading and I'm back and we're going to do a quick recap of my trade today. As you can see, my net P&L is 255. My goal is to make $200 a day, but if I can make more, I'll take it. If not, this is my goal, $200. As you can see, my fees, my price, the quantity size, and when I um, basically get in or buy and sell, right? So let's jump into it. The first trade I took on Mara was at 9.30 and 34 seconds, and I jumped in trying to short, but it didn't go in my favor at that at the moment. So I jumped in right here at um, 29.87, so right in this range, and basically it went against me, and I exited my position at $30.07, and I got a loss. I took a loss of $102.50. Then the next trade I took, which I realized I was a little bit too early. So I took another trade like, what, 10 seconds later? And I took another short position. And I got in at the price of, what, $13, what $30.18. So around here, almost close to the top. And then I shorted it. And I exit my position right around $20, $29.83. And I made a profit of $172.50. The next trade I took was like, what, $9.33? $9.33. And this one was another short, short position. And I took a quick scalp. It was a quick trade because I realized the price wasn't going in the direction I wanted to. It was stalling out. So I got in at $30.38. $30 so it was $30.38 right up here. And I exited at $30.30. So down here. Right here I exited. So that was a quick, quick scalp trade. That was basically almost what? That's like $0.08. Cents. So I got in, got out. And I got a profit of $37.50, right? Then I took another trade at $9.39. I tried to short it again. And I basically took a loss. So that was what, $9? Oh, let's see if we could find it. So it was $9.39. So $9.39, I seen the price action trying to go down. And it kind of faked me out. So around this price range at this time, which is 939, as you can see, I got in trying to think, um, you know, trying to get the continuation from this candle. I got in at the price of what it was 3020. So right here, 3020, thinking it was going to continue going down 13, 3020, think it was going to go down and then actually bounced and went up. And it went up here and I took my loss right here at 30, 40, 30 dollars and 40 cents. And I lost up at the amount of 102 dollars and 50 cents. Then I finally took the right trade at the right time. So at 940, so this was this can was it this candle? Yes, 940. This candle, I realized that I retest this high and it was gonna fail, and I took a, um, entry at what 3028 3028 right here in this range i got in right here on this candle 3028 and i took the ride down and watch it broke down and i took profit at 2975 so right here i took my profit and i made a profit of 262 dollars and then they took the fees, as you can see, the 250. So, as you can see, it's they started to go down a little bit more, but that's when I took my profit and I was like, you know what, let me take that and go. And then it continued to go down afterwards. Right now it's in a consolidation phase and I'll probably be looking for another entry soon after the consolidation phase. And it looked like it might wanna go up but if I was going to take the trade, I will wait till price action. Let's see. I'll wait till price basically retests the high of this candle, which is at the high of 2777. If price don't reach up there, I'll probably not take the trade. But if I see price trying to go in that area, I'll try to anticipate the break 
for the next leg up to probably either retest this zone, this zone, or potentially go back to higher day to potentially make some gains. So that was just a quick recap. As you can see, I have a profit of 255 and I'm okay with that. Like I said, that's my goal per day. And that's basically it. I might go back, like I said, in a trade. If I do go back in a trade, I'll basically record it so you guys can see me in action when I trade. And that's about it, guys. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. I will be uploading a lot more. The reason why I haven't been uploading is because I've been using my, my MacBook laptop and I don't have OBS on that um computer or laptop. So I haven't been able to record, but now that I'm on my desktop, I will be recording much more and uploading a lot more. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Enjoy your trading day. It's Key Life Trading, and I'm out. Peace.